Hey, what's up guys? Joma here and welcome back to my channel. Itong mga tol, itong episode na to is dedicated sa mga kagaya ko na hard gainers. Oo, sa totoo lang, way back through high school, college, and early years ng working life, lahat narinig ko na from walking stick, taong may TV, batang isaw, spaghetti arms. Itong mga to is hindi naman talaga nawawala sa biroan ng barkada. Pero at the same time, syempre, minsan iisipin mo kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin para ma-enhance naman how you look. Of course, being buff will not only help you out with the female, pero at the same time, magbibigay din siya sa iyo ng confidence when you meet new people or even for applying for a job or during job interviews mo. And although baka nagsustart ka na mag-workout, kumain ng mas marami, and anything to help you out, hindi rin naman kasi instant yung magiging effect niya sa katawan mo. But don't worry kasi meron din naman mga clothing hacks para makatulong sa iyo para mas maging muscular tingnan. So for today guys, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung top clothing hacks to make you look more buff and muscular. So kung interesado ka, let's hop into it. So tip number one, is layer. So, ito yung mga paggamit ng mga items or pagpatong ng mga items para mas magmukhang malaking katawan mo. Of course, given na dyan yung mga jackets, pero alam naman natin, since tropical country sa Pinas, medyo mainit, you also have your other options such as mga handies, round neck sweaters, and mga long sleeved polos. So, of course, ang effect na to, since naka t-shirt ka na sa loob, mas lalong kakapal tingnan and lalaki tingnan yung katawan mo pag nag-layer ka ng mga additional items. So, since yung mga pieces na to ay eh, long sleeve not only lalaki tignan yung kamay mo kasi matatak pa niya, but also pag hinatak mo ng konti yung clothing yung part na maglulukot-lukot makaka-enhance or makakalaki tignan ng bicep and tricep mo may enhance na yung appearance ng arms mo kasi lalaki na yung difference between dito sa wrist mo and banda dito sa elbows mo Second item guys are your round necks or crew necks. So, ang effect naman ng mga round necks or crew necks, una tatanggalin niya yung attention dun sa leg mo kasi kung payat yung leg mo or wala kang traps, matatakpan niya yun. Tapos lalong lalapad tingnan yung balikat mo. So consequently, please avoid yung mga v-neck, lalo na yung mga deep v-neck sa pag medyo payat. Kasi yung mga v-necks, idadirect niya yung attention sa gitna ng katawan mo, pas papayatin niya pa yung leg mo tingnan. And parang liliit pa yung balikat mo. So for skinny guys, again, stay away from v-necks, choose round neck and crew necks instead. Tip number 3, always wear anything with collars. So, ito naman guys, simple-simple pag naka-collar ka or may collar yung damit mo, again, i-enhance na yung appearance ng neck mo na hindi magmumukhang payat. Papalaki na yung natignan yung muscle mo dito sa likod, which is yung traps dito sa tabi ng shoulders. Plus, magmumukhang mas fully formed or full yung balikat mo. Maganda pa dito, usually yung mga polo shirts dito sa Pinas are muscle tees. Ibig sabihin, medyo stretchable yung fabric, kaya off for a fit na medyo bad di hacking. Ang pro tip ko dito, do not buy yung mga polo shirt or collared shirts na may slit yung gitna. Kasi may pagkalumang style ngayon guys. Ang modern fit is yung parang t-shirt na yung dulo. Fourth item are your slim fit jeans. So a quick way para lalong sumama yung appearance ng chicken legs mo is magsuot ka ng pantalon na oversized. Believe me guys, kasi mahilig ako sa oversized na pantalon throughout high school up to first and second year ko ng college. And definitely, hindi to nakaka-flatter. Stay away from shorts as well. Ang recommended ko na proper fit for your jeans is kailangan hindi nagtatouch yung back pockets or yung bulsa sa likod. At the same time, kaya mo pa rin mag-squat habang nag-fit ka sa mall para sure na hindi naman ganun kasikip. It should be fitted dun sa part ng hita and pa-taper kumbaga dun sa lower part ng paa mo. Hindi naman yung parang nakayakap or parang jeggings na tingnan. Pero kumbaga is dahan-dahan nagtitaper off. So by using this one, mas magmumukhang streamline yung pangangatawan mo and yung attention e direct na sa upper body mo. Which is a good thing and yun ang gusto mo mangyari. Item number 5 are your minimalist footwear. So definitely Definitely, walang basketball shoes during training mo yan suotin. Ang kailangan mo are your chucks, your jack purcells, onitsuka tigers, or even yung mga nabibili mo sa bench, pen shop, and H&M. So like yung mga slim fit na pants, yung mga classic cut na sapatos, or yung mga minimalist style ng shoes will direct the attention to your upper body instead of sa lower extremities mo. Finally, number six, do not forget to accessorize your forearm. So accessorizing has a lot of advantages. Una, mas marami ka nga makukompose na outfits. Pangalawa, napakamura naman ng mga accessories hindi mo kailangan bumili ng branded kaya napakadaling mag-experiment but also for this time around by accessorizing your wrist or your forearm mawawala yung attention na nakakakita dun sa payat ng kamay mo or dun sa haba tignan ng kamay mo kaya nagmumukha siyang mas malaki and the best part pa dito is women said actually that more than the chest yung big shoulders and arms or forearms yung tinitignan nila when it comes to men so again don't forget to accessorize mga tol and also this is a good opportunity to show a little bit of your personality. Trust me, 
people will love you for that. So again guys, those are the top 6 clothing hacks to make you look more muscular and buff. By having these on your wardrobe guys, lagi kang magiging ready and much more confident anywhere you go. So yun lang yung oras natin for this episode guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, isang malapit na thumbs up. And again, special mention to my subscribers. You guys are awesome and I enjoy ko gumawa ng mga videos para sa inyo guys. But in any case, Joma here for your tech, fitness, and style guy. Thank you for watching guys and peace out. Try grow then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record.